Using a tripline anchor buoy has many advantages. The first and most obvious is that we're going to attach the trip line to the head of the anchor, and so that gives us two different points to pull the anchor up with. Imagine my foot is a rock and the anchor is stuck underneath, but by pulling on the trip line, it pulls from the other side and so it comes up easily. It's easy to construct your own trip line buoy. Take a block made of stainless steel and plastic from the marine store, an inexpensive bumper, and a weight. I'm using a two pound diving weight here and tie them together as I've done here. Now label the bumper carefully so that anyone coming by will know which boat it belongs to. Notice how the block and weight automatically adjust the trip line length. This compensates for tides and waves and keeps the buoy directly over the anchor at all times. I'm using 30 feet of line with my trip line buoy which means that it can be used in as shallow as 16 feet at low tide and as deep as 28 feet at high tide. We wait until the boat comes to a complete stop and then we throw the trip line buoy. And then we let out the anchor slowly as the boat is being backed up. Notice how the buoy stands up tall and straight directly over the anchor, so we always know where the anchor is. It also tells other boaters where our anchor is, so there's less chance of them dropping their anchor crossing our anchor line. It can take a great deal of effort to pull up the anchor if it's really set in the mud. However, with the trip line, it makes easy work out of it. Just use a boat hook to retrieve the anchor buoy, and then pull it up until the anchor is free. And then you can easily pull up the anchor using the anchor road and chain. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about a trip line anchor. Please check out CaptainLang.com for a list of all videos. Thank you.